Hi, I'm Dan Costa, Editor-in-Chief of Worth Media Group, and we are in Davos, Switzerland. I am joined by Josh Campell, the CEO of Worth Media Group. Josh, Davos in all of its glory. Yet another year. So you, you say that because you've been to Davos 10, 11 times. What has changed this year compared to all the other times you've been? You know, I think if you look over the past decade, obviously the content has radically changed. You know, 10 years ago, the conversation was about Internet of Things. The last couple of years, it's about been about climate change, ESG, sustainability. This year, it's dominated by AI. You can't leave a conversation uh, without talking about artificial intelligence and its impact on work, on industry. So I think we're seeing obviously that, that continued change in content. We're also seeing who comes to, to Davos. You know, this is the World Economic Forum annual meeting. People refer to it as Davos. Davos is the city. Now we're starting to see little pockets of other events pop up this week. Uh, so people are saying, oh, I'm going to Davos. Well, you're not going to World Economic Forum. You're going to an event that happens to take place during, uh, you know, WEF in Davos. So I think we're starting to see more adjacent events pop up, uh, you know, here, uh, as well as the shift in, in content. Yeah, that was the thing that amazed me last year and it's the same this year. I'd say 80%, 90% of the people here don't actually go to the Congress Center. Um, they walk up and down the promenade and, and the whole city of Davos is sort of emptied out and turned over to companies which are taking over every store and installing their brands and having activations and serving coffee and having panels and discussions. And it's like, it's like a conference, but it's taking over the entire city. Yeah, and, and you think about all these brands that are trying to cut through the noise and the clutter. So, you know, each of them are trying to find their way to your point, am I giving away a free hat or am I giving away some coffee um, or am I creating compelling content? So you'll see panels and content happening, uh, you know, in the city outside of, of the main, uh, you know, conference center. So, you know, it's always an amazing week, but great to be here. So part of uh, that content package is what we're creating for some of our partners. We're gonna do a bunch of interviews. I've got a bunch of interviews scheduled, but maybe just paint a picture of what a day looks like uh, to a Davos attendee. Yeah, and, and, and the days are long. Uh, you know, it is amazing that we'll go, you know, uh, last night I think we left the time party at midnight. Uh, it was still going. You know, people probably stayed out till two, three in the morning. Uh, and then we hit the ground running this morning, 7 a.m. with breakfast. Uh, so it, it is a long day. It starts with breakfast at seven. It goes into the late night, early hours of the morning uh, with, with more fun and entertainment. But then the day is packed with, you know, as you said, other interviews, bilateral meetings, um, and just really sort of the serendipity of, you know, bumping into people. And that again is one of the amazing things about Davos. You could be walking down the street and run into anyone from the head of the World Bank to a celebrity, uh, you know, last night at the party, Will I Am walking around, you know, and then you have Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce. So it really is this intersection of, you know, celebrity and sports and influence with executives, with, you know, sort of, you know, all these, you know, heads of state. So I don't think there's any place like it where you get that sort of, you know, melting pot of such senior people. I think the one of the knocks on Davos, a perceived knock, is that it's all it's a conference for rich people and powerful people. Um, I'm always impressed by like the number of public servants that are here, the number of activists, number of philanthropies and charities that are doing work here. So it, it, there are all of those celebrities and there are all those famous people, but there's also a lot of people just working hard to try and do deals and make the world a better place. Yeah, and I mean, look, you think about our mantra at Worth, right? This idea of where we're shifting to around conscious and stakeholder capitalism. Obviously, Klaus wrote about stakeholder capitalism. I think when you look at the people that are here, yes, they're all trying to generate you know, economic returns and grow their businesses, but there is you know, a responsibility that they feel. So no matter if you are a tech company or if you're a bank, you are talking about how do you you know, serve the broader society and you are starting to see the nonprofits and all that you know, being part of the conversation, which, which is obviously great for us. Well, we're gonna have a ton of, comp a ton of content up on worth.com. If you wanna know more about what we're doing at Davos, go to worth.com, read our stories, and we'll see you later.